Who is headmaster in Hogwarts Legacy? Before Albus Dumbledore, there are a few headmasters who took the role before him. As Hogwarts Legacy takes place in the late 1800s, we expect Phineas Nagulus Black to have the role of headmaster for our characters in the game. If that surname sounds familiar, he's actually Sirius Black's great-grandfather. What makes Phineas Nagulus Black interesting is that he is often called the worst headmaster of Hogwarts in history. He's also a Slytherin, making him a very different person from Harry Potter's Albus Dumbledore. It will be interesting to see how Phineas Nagulus Black plays a part in the story and why he's regarded as a terrible headmaster after his time in the position. In the books, Black is described to be someone who supports blood purity, and Wizarding World fans have theorized that he tried to bar muggles from learning at Hogwarts. He even used the word mudblood, a nasty term Draco Malfoy used in Chamber of Secrets to describe those with no magical relatives. The Hogwarts legacy setting extends beyond the grounds of Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Hogwarts legacy is an open-world experience, and so we'll eventually be able to travel to surrounding locations like the Forbidden Forest and Hogsmeade Village, and some entirely new locations that Warner Brothers Games is yet to reveal. Naturally, it's the fully realized Hogwarts castle that's the main draw, particularly as we'll be given the freedom to attend classes, grow our magical abilities, brew potions, tame magical beasts, discover Hogwarts hidden dungeons and secret passageways, and get involved with challenging puzzles that are scattered all throughout the school. From the Hogwarts legacy gameplay we've seen so far, it's clear that developer Avalanche Software really is building a sprawling action RPG set in the wider Harry Potter universe. You'll be able to create your own character, sort them into a house, and then roleplay as a student at Hogwarts. You will learn new magical abilities and how to brew potions in classes, face off against creatures and dark powers in one-to-one -wand combat out in the world, and level up your skills and equipment as you gain new experience. Hogwarts Legacy really sounds like the Harry Potter RPG we've wanted for decades. The Hogwarts Legacy Collector's Edition was unveiled on August 24, 2022. The limited edition bundle comes with everything that's included in the Hogwarts Legacy Deluxe Edition, including the 72-hour early access and Dark Arts pack, as well as a suite of other exclusive content. You'll get an onyx hippogriff mount, a kelpie robe to dress your character in, a steel case to hold the game, and a life-size floating ancient magic wand with book base. It's an interesting package that, naturally, comes with a pretty large price tag. Warner Brothers Games has confirmed the Hogwarts Legacy price across PlayStation, Xbox, and PC platforms. They are as follows, at the time of writing. Hogwarts Legacy Price, PS5 and Xbox Series X, $69.99 slash £64.99 Hogwarts Legacy Price, PS4 and Xbox One, $59.99 slash £54.99 Hogwarts Legacy Deluxe Edition Price, PS5 and Xbox Series X $79.99 slash £74.99 Hogwarts Legacy Deluxe Edition Price, PS4 and Xbox One, $69.99 slash £64.99 Hogwarts Legacy Collector's Edition Price, PS5 and Xbox Series X, $299.99 slash £279.99 Hogwarts Legacy Collector's Edition Price, PS4 and Xbox One, $294.99 slash £274.99